everyone and welcome back and um, this is going to be a bit of a funny video so I'm obviously recording it now when the car's done but you're going to see in a minute um, me putting together the final parts of this car now the reason I'm sat in here uh, is because I'm taking final photos to have this all done and I've had to sit in the car because as I've gone to take photos, I've nearly been blown away, which sounds stupid, but currently, um, I don't know if you can probably see, let's have a look. Um, although that doesn't look too bad, I'm actually feeling the car move with the wind because it's that strong. And I've um, just come from my father's and we've actually seen a tree come down in the woods behind us. It's it's currently blow, blowing a right gale. So anyway, I've decided to come and sit in the car. Now, um, I'm just gonna set this up on the dashboard and just talk over this particular car. So bear with me. Right, so, yeah. Uh, where are we at? So we are couple of days into the new year now and I am down to uh, this purple 500 pop and there is another car that I purchased which we haven't finished or haven't even mentioned on the channel yet which was uh, another BCA project which I will show you in a few weeks time but just to give you an update I now have zilch zilch cars technically apart from this one which i need to sell what i should say maybe it's better to say i have zilch cars to actually work on so this is finally the my sort of final car and uh, i'll be putting it up for sale very very soon and what as i mentioned if you follow the channel is uh, got a few personal things going on in regards to um, house move and needing money and cash to sort out deposit for that and therefore um, speaking with my partner we've sort of agreed um, together that she sort of said you know probably really we need to cut down on the amount of cars so I'm probably only looking to maybe do one car at a time now this 2012 pop which i haven't finished or mentioned in the video oh no i did mention in the video so about maybe a month ago when i purchased it um it had a new gearbox and clutch i say new it's a used gearbox and a new clutch so all was good with that however it went in for an mot and it absolutely stank of burnt oil. And the MOT picked it up and said, um, and unfortunately put it down as an advisory. I drove it home and literally got out of the car and I was like, you could just smell it in the air. It was pretty awful. Now, what subsequently happened was I got the mobile mechanic back to sort of go, look, I kind of think maybe that used gearbox that was put in is not, something's going on it's dripping onto the exhaust pipe um so he came back had a look at it and said i can't see any oil leaks from the gearbox um he's put it down to what he thinks was the old gearbox dripping oil and the residue is from the old gearbox onto the exhaust it's burning off and that's what's giving the smell so he's cleaned the exhaust pipe off and um said just run it so i've now ran this car since christmas day um driving it to and from work which is a round trip of about 42 miles trying to either one burn off any excess oil that's left on the exhaust and two also just seeing how we get on and I have to say since then i've not smelled anything at all like there's a tiny smell but you've got to literally almost stick your nose into the hub to sort of smell it so there could potentially be um some still there but overall i've run this now and i and i can't smell it anymore so um i think i've sorted that um therefore this 2012 no damage 
71,000 mile pop will go up for sale and I've just done the photos for that. I'll do a little walk around um, video as well when but the problem is with the wind is literally all you're going to hear is me well not even me just might hear the wind so might try that but we'll see how we get on anyway what I'm going to show you now is some footage of me sorting out the car um, about a week or so ago um, just getting it ready for its sort of final final push but obviously again if you'd watched the video a week before you'd see that I mentioned this and someone was coming to view it so it's all a bit hickledy pickledy so I do apologize for that but hopefully this will be well it should be the, the, the very last time that you see the video on this um, so yeah but um, going forward no more 2012s um, I don't think because there's just getting to the point where um, you run more risks of having to repair clutches, gearboxes, and you know a few other things. So yeah, so let's crack on and let's get on with viewing what I've done on this, and then we can come back. Welcome back. Welcome to a reasonably quick video, I hope, on the purple. 12 plate pot that you probably saw maybe a month or so ago and well it depends when you're actually gonna look at the video but um so this was purchased if you remember from BCA sorry about the wind here purchased from BCA uh, about 70 odd thousand on the clock and um, yeah mm, there was an issue with the brake on the passenger side and it subsequently needed a new gearbox. The BCA report didn't indicate that that gearbox was pretty knackered so we've had a gearbox put in, we've had new brake disc and pads and the windscreen wiper um, was typical Fiat where the wire in, in the hatch had been cut so needed to have those uh, that uh, sorted out but we got there subsequently we've had an MOT on this about a month ago and it's come up with three advisories which um, are rear shock absorber on the passenger side is worn so we'll come to that in a minute because that is currently being worked on and we've got a uh, rear axle is corroded that's what kind of happens when you get to around this sort of age of car for the fiat but it's not a problem it just always comes up and then the last part which is a bit annoying was it said oil leak now the problem with the oil leak is that um when i parked it up at the mot you could smell a distinct smell of oil and it wasn't great put it in for this mot went away for about an hour and a half came back the mot advisor has gone yeah you got an oil leak and um, you can smell it and sure enough it was really quite pungent so i was like oh great what was that is that like the gearbox has not gone in right or something like that and subsequently drove it home and what's then happened is that um, it is really really pungent really pungent so oil is dripping onto the exhaust which is then burning off causing a really really strong smell so I've parked this up for a while and gone I've got other important things to worry about um, general work and um, a few other cars which you know the black one which was damaged so I thought I'll park this up we'll come back and we'll sort this out so got my mechanic who put in the gearbox to come here and look at it <laughs> and he has said he's gone underneath it and he said look, there's no leak from the gearbox there's nothing coming from that gearbox um, he thinks that's oil left over from the previous gearbox uh, that's uh, remained on the exhaust pipe and therefore it's te technically burning off 
Um, so he sprayed that now with a uh, brake cleaner um, and has completely um, cleaned the exhaust. But he's saying that there's no leaks. So the idea behind this now is I'm going to just run it around for a few days just to see if that smell is coming back or not. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, if it's not, then yeah, that was left over. But unfortunately, the advisory on the MOT has uh, yeah stayed there. So when I sell it, I've got to reassure the person that there is no oil leak and that that was left over. So, yes. So there we have it. So, yeah. So, it is what it is. But this is a relatively cheap car. I'm not going to make a huge amount of money on it. But um, hopefully it'll be good for someone uh, in the new year. Um, hopefully when things pick up. So yeah, so let's get on with the rear shocker that was going to be replaced. And we will hopefully then be able to effectively clean it up. And it'll be relatively good to go. So this is the problem side. So I need to get that one out, which is generally two bolts. And then I'm gonna put in a Magneti Morelli one. But hopefully it's gonna sort out the problem. There is a slight clunking going on. And I'm hoping that clunking is from this one and it's been identified on the MOT. So let's get that one out. Okay, so the rear shocker is on. It's in there somewhere. Nicely done, it's very easy. Uh, put on the, I've reconditioned the hubcaps, give them a new spray um, and uh, lacquered them to make them look new again. And then, just done a bit of touching up with the paint around things like the door seals because they were all a bit scratched and here which will be I have to sort that out basically that's a scratch and as you can see I've uh, painted over it but although that looks particularly bad at the moment with a bit of sanding that should but to be up relatively disappear so that's something i've got to do but i've just got to allow that to dry off and then as i say now just requires a good old clean and uh yeah now hopefully hopefully fingers crossed this is uh pretty much done so uh we are now yeah 23rd of december so i'm just gonna leave this now over the christmas period um might just just at least get this off so it doesn't start to burn into the paintwork. Uh, unfortunately, it's parked under trees again. And you can see it's also there, bad as well, there. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully have this nice and clean and polished up, ready for sale just after Christmas. And fingers crossed, well, it should it should make something. I'm not sure exactly how much, but it'll make something. That's the main thing. Right, I'm trying to record this as quick as I can, but as you can see, it's all been done. There is a slight mismatch. I'm going to be honest of that bonnet, um, but from this angle, the mismatch is the bonnet. And when you come around to this angle, the mismatch is actually the the front bumper can't see it so much in this light because I'm losing light but there is a bit mismatch there so I think it's had some form of respray and it's passed I'm actually facing the wind apologies um, so yeah so basically this has had uh, brake pads uh, brake discs and it's had a gearbox and that's pretty much all it's had and an MOT and a good old clean and the original hubcaps put back on not those cheap plastic ones that came with the car so that's where we're at so yeah uh, I'm gonna put that up for about two and a half uh, nice cheap 
a first car for someone especially a pop and it's actually you know what it's not not a bad color i know it's not black and yeah it shows up any marks and dinks but actually this is a very clean car for 2012 so yeah but anyway uh, that's going to be the end of today's video thank you for watching uh, more to come from various cars and stuff that i've got going on and uh, until next time uh, see you all again very very soon and oh yeah don't forget to hit the like button because that really helps and the subscribe button if you don't subscribe to the channel see you all later